Hey guys, I'm here with Paul from Gearhead Works. You know, a lot of people don't see our faces, they just see us on the forum. Right, right. They think I have a skull for a head. That's exactly right. right. With a gear around it. Right. right. Yeah. So, of course, everybody's heard of the X95. You know, the probably seen a lot of pictures of the uh, the full auto versions, the, the samples that have been floating around for a couple of years. You know, they've been on the channel, they've been at the bullpup conventions and stuff. So this is the civilian version introduced this week at SHOT. Uh, of course, the overall length got a longer barrel, but to help with the aesthetics of it, they also extended the forearm. So you kind of keep this proportional stubby barrel sticking out here. It still retains the same slide off rail covers. Just, now, just like the machine gun version. Absolutely. And so you're comparing the uh, uh, military X95, the law enforcement That's X95 right. to this. Because this is fire. a different uh, forend than the Tavor, obviously. Right. And you just showed how it slips on and off and exposes a rail. So no longer do you need, even on the bottom, you yeah. need an aftermarket rail. They right. all slip off. Um, but a little longer than the law enforcement version. That's is what right. You're That's right. And, and it helps make it look better because they had to make the barrel longer to make you know to, to make it a non NFA weapon, which helps with your reach. Of course, this is what everybody wants right here. The magazine release, it's coming. And then to help with the overall length too, they've thickened the butt pad up. The uh, the select fire version is a very thin, kind of slightly tapered right here. So they had to bring it out. So now we're at our 26 inch length. Uh, of course, the same features as the standard X95, where you got interchangeable grip options. Comes off here. That I think I believe there might be a full handguard version. Yeah, I think the, the the default is the full handguard, and then this is an option. This is the option. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Of course, uh, only two positions here, unfortunately. <laughs> On the civilian model. Yeah. They and did. the charging handles in a new. Location. That's right. Uh, flipping it on this side, we've got the charging handles. So instead of being up here. It's directly on the side, stuck straight out 90 degrees, and it's it's really easy to get to. And it's got a acceleration mark right here. Of course, we've got our flag in it, so the bolt is not closed all the way. But you're supposed to be able to push this forward, and it acts as a, a forward assist of sorts. So uh, I haven't really got to play with that yet, so I'm looking forward to that. And of course, uh, they move sling swivels. The sling swivel is here now instead of up here because of the charging handle. And we still got one way up forward and where everybody's used to in the buttstock as well. So, you know, the difference from the Tavor obviously is your, your grip, the magazine release, the charging handle location. Yeah, no more magazine release here. And uh, you got built in rails on your forearm. So, quite, quite a few differences. It's uh, definitely. Uh, a different beast. You should get one of these as well as your Tavor. Yeah, I have to tell you, I've, I've shot this and we've got some footage of it. It's a great shooter just like the Tavor. I am so partial to that old, they, I'm they, very I say fast. the old, yeah. old uh, magazine release, the Tavor magazine release. Right, I'm very so, fast with that mag change yeah, on this, you so are, I'm going to have to get used to this. <laughs> it's You've put out some good videos on that. I, I really like the Tavor one. Not that this is bad, and obviously the AR guys are very used to that. Right, right. Yep. So, one upgrade is, and IWI has been listening, um, in the European mentality, the tri a heavy trigger is a safety. Right. And so the FAL and guns like that have heavy triggers. The Israelis kind of subscribe to that. It's, it's the way I kind of see it. And so they don't mind a heavy trigger. However, they've been listening. And in the new Tavors and in the, the X95, it appears the trigger's been. Oh, well, that's that's very promising then because, uh, you know, the removing the extra spring, I did that, you know, with the group by gun. I, I did that before I even shot the gun. I was yeah. like, man, this thing's got to go. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, this one, the trigger's a, a, a good bit more crisp. It's a lot better, and they even the IWI guys were saying it's battle proven. Used in the X95, right. used in Gaza right. a lot, but the trigger's much improved. Well, good. I'm gonna have to turn around and go shoot one of those. Yeah, so. heck yeah. <laughs> Out here at a, a shot show. This is media day or industry day at the range. And uh, Paul, great to see you. Yeah, John. Thanks for going over the uh, X95. Obviously, your Tavor parts. We've we've got some uh, some more coming, and every oh, yeah. day some new stuff. KSG. That's right. Yep. Right. Yeah, I've got new parts coming out all the time. So uh, my project list is huge. I hear you. So. We'll see you on the forum. All right. See you later.